Welcome to Doc Bro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And today we're here to break down the Fear of the Walking Dead Comic Con trailer. Oh my god. Yeah, guys. So uh, we know Comic Con's been over for a while. We've had some videos come out beforehand, but we wanted to go through these. Grab the still pictures from the scenes that are brand new. Leave out the ones that we've seen already. We may come back to some of that. But uh, one big thing they did mention at Comic-Con for Fear of the Walking Dead. Two stars, um, uh, Lenny James and uh, Carrie Davis, I believe her name is, who plays Grace. They said that this season is very, very dark. And, I mean, we kind of got that from this trailer. Yeah. Like, this trailer was really dark. Well, we it, know Morgan's is dark because of the whole yeah. head bounty thing yeah. and the bounty hunter. But I'm really curious about Grace's. Yeah. Saying it's dark and, like, the Owls. characters. Yeah. Owls. Yeah. Wow. And, um, you know, she also said that the characters are, like, by the end of this season, are just, they're not going to be the same. So, oh, I don't know what's going to happen. But yeah. a dark season? I'm down for that. Yeah. Hey. As long as the writing is good. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's break down some pictures, guys. Let's get uh, into it. And let's kick things off with uh, what appears to be a, a pretty nice settlement, it looks like. Yeah, we, we in a previous trailer, they kind of showed in this one where we saw the Pioneer's flag flying yep. wherever this community is. Lawton. Lawton. Lawton, Texas. So uh, that looks to be John walking in or maybe, yeah, walking into the town maybe. So pretty cool. Um, nice housing development. Um, Interesting you know. that he's freely walking. Doesn't appear to be bound or, you know, followed by, now we can't see the rest of the shot, but right. um, curious to know if maybe he's accepted or even embraced his role being in this settlement. Whatever that may be. Yeah. <laughs> be interesting to find out. Another shot here of John waking up in the bedroom all alone. And it's just so... I, you know what's going through his head. Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> you know. So June. June, man. I mean, it's just... It's going to be... You can see the pain on his face right there. You can. You really can. Um, we do get a shot of June here. She's kind of, I believe, in the... I don't know if she's in the back of Sarah's rig, but we see her trying to resuscitate somebody, and, and there's another shot coming up where somebody falls off a gurney. So, you know, she's using her skills and being an EMT, if you want to call that, or a doctor. So. Typical of Ginny to put people in their most resourceful, you know, roles, That's right? What That's what she wants to do. Does. That's what she does. This shot is really interesting. It's a shot of Al, and that is a walker coming in because it's the way that it's standing, and as you, if, when you watch the video, the trailer, it, the way it's walking in as well. So wherever she is... That looks to be... I mean, look at the clothes. That, that, that's a new walker. That seems to be somebody who was recently that's turned. That's a new walker. Yeah. I'm almost wondering if maybe what June is working on is this individual. Um, who, no, the who one in the trailer looks like a man. Really? Fell, okay. Yeah. Well, maybe there's like a, a an outbreak 2.0 that we've right. seen in previous Walking Dead seasons yeah. that they're trying to can contain... Uh, and they're just not able to. I love the Clorox bleach uh, or bleach container or laundry container used as a makeshift uh, I, IV. I, that's what I was going to say. It's like, is that a makeshift IV? You better have cleaned the hell out of that thing. It's bleach. It's bleach, yeah. I mean, you don't want that going into your system. <laughs> so, Unless you want to get rid of a virus. Yeah. So it will be interesting to see the scene of, you know, for one, what is Al looking at? And two, how did this person just recently turn and where are they? So... Big questions there. Oh, the man. Ooh. We do not know his name, but this is the Bounty Hunter. Yes. Um, one big thing I'm, I will be interested to know is how did he and Ginny become entangled together? Um, you, you know, know? May maybe he is a, a formal uh, uh, marshal or something. And Ginny said, hey, maybe you're used hunter. to hunting people. Right. Used Let's to, do it this way. You're good at tracking people. <laughs> yeah, let me let me enlist your services. So, dude, that's get a like shot. some born identity shit. Dude, this is, yeah, dude, this is like some massive interrogation here. Wherever they're at, they're in an enclosure. This person's tied up, got uh, a black sheet over his head. And there's another shot of him later that we'll get to. But this shot right here is Alicia. This is like almost like saw material. She's strapped down in an area that has a lot of instruments. There's a severed deer's head over on the <laughs> table. There's probably jars of intestines and body parts. Like, I don't know what this is, but this is dark. This is really dark. This is creepy. And I'm. do you think it's the masked people, the people in the white masks? Uh, possibly. Or I, I just don't see someone else. doing something like this. No. I mean, she's ruthless, don't get me wrong. 
I think this has to be something maybe they're out. But not about. like this. Yeah, no. this is uh, like that's a that's a mental hospital bed or or like that, that's a bed like that's like a torture bed. I, well, yeah, but it's made out of wood. It looks like a still, but still, yeah, the straps, <laughs> <laughs> the straps. Yeah, so insane. It's gonna be crazy. I just love this shot right here, man. It's you know talking about a dark season. I mean, it's just I mean, look at the eyes right there. Yes, I'm coming for you. Yes. <laughs> And they're apparently in an office because there are office chairs. Oh, there are. Yes. I was kind of looking at it like, what is that? But they are <laughs> office chairs. Yes. Maybe gaming chairs. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Leftover gaming chairs. Um, this is creepy right here. This is a dude who apparently is probably getting out of a garage and he's being probably pulled back by walkers and... He's a goner. I think he's probably going to go. Yeah. I think this guy yeah. is gone. We don't know who that is. Uh, we don't know who's helping him. They do have the number 41 on the back. Yeah, so, like, what does that signify? Like, that's not prison. Um, maybe it's a I mean, marker for one of her areas maybe or that's something. Jenny doing that. Yeah, maybe it's like a marker for a certain area or maybe a part of a community that works on this. The, you guys are number 41. I don't know. Weird mm -hmm. theories, guys. So, here's back to the guy who is being taken hostage. He's got now the mask taken off. He's got a dog right up in his face. And in the next shot, there's two people. There's a person holding the dog, and then there's a person off to your left when you're looking at it. Can't really tell. Just by the, the body, it looks like it could be a woman, but I yeah, can't really back tell. Back up a second. It, it, interesting, too. That's outside. So yeah. they put a tarp over a tarp that, over it, yeah. and he's outside. Yeah. It's almost like it's a maybe a the, uh, a building that had the roof ripped off or a bunker or it, no. well, not a bunker but yeah very interesting. I wonder if this is the same maybe people who captured Alicia mm -hmm. you know torturing techniques or trying to get information not really sure so it's going to be interesting. Let's go shot of the pup there. Uh, this is John digging a grave. Um, not sure where this is if he's part of the dig crew to where if people die in the settlement you know that's where they put them. Um, or there... maybe does it have to do with the chick that was attacking Alicia, the the, wa the newly formed walker? Maybe. And he's yeah. maybe he was close to her, yeah. uh, knew her, and wanted to bury her in a proper way. Maybe. This next shot, though, guys. Oh, man. Look who that is. Charlie. She's getting pulled by her ponytail, her hair. And that's fine. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Are we ready to see Charlie's demise? Do we forgive her? Well, Alicia forgave her. I'm fine with the character. I just want to see where the character is going. To be I'm honest. not. I hope she gets pulled in there and eaten by walkers. Sorry, but I'm not sorry. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So, but this is a terrifying. I mean, that looks like to be like how they herd cattle. You know what I mean? Like they're keeping them in there. And for one, why is the door open? What are you doing? Or did they open it themselves yeah. and are attacking? I don't know. Yeah, I hope the walker catches her surprise like she caught Nick by surprise. Yeah. Yep. He pulls her hair off. And <laughs> rips her face off. <laughs> now, this scene right here, I am going to be very interested to know what's going on. This is John and Strand fighting. Okay? Hope it's not related to the grave that he's digging. No, but I, <laughs> I'm con. You know what I'm actually thinking that what this could be, and you see kind of um, Strand or John it punch Strand physical. Yeah, I wonder if maybe John found out that I don't know if he already knew. If John find out found out maybe it was Strand that you know gave that part to Ginny. Remember, she he kind of gave them up in a sense, and he said. We'll deal with this from the inside. I wonder if something has gone wrong. That, yeah, I don't know. Ooh, I wonder if something's gone wrong that may have put June in danger and John's yeah. freaking out and yeah, blaming I, him for I don't it. know if he ever revealed or it was just common knowledge. Daniel knew. Jan, Daniel, Daniel knew about it. But I don't know about if everyone else knew. Yeah. That he gave the engine or whatever part of the engine he needed to Ginny. And that's why he said we can do... He told Alicia we can do more harm on the inside. I know Alicia knows about it. Um, but maybe... I don't know. Because John's wanting to get that gun. Like, he wants to kill him. So, this is something huge. It has to be about June. Uh, it has to be. Nothing's going to enrage John more than that. You yeah. know? Or maybe just the group in general. Like, No, I think it's about... It's got to be about June. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Another cool shot here. The bounty hunter um, cutting somebody's head off. Maybe it's <laughs> that one guy that we saw, but it's during the day. So, it could be somebody else. So whatever, Whoever he's tracking, I have no idea. Maybe that's who, they, maybe that's who she sends out when people... Run away from the community. Maybe. Makes know. sense. Yeah. So here's that shot here. There's Sarah. Um, and that's June on top of... It looks like a man. So that... Yeah, that is a man right there. So he falls off the gurney. 
And I think that's who she's trying to resuscitate. It almost looks like he's already animated. The way that he's coming at coming her, after her. Yeah, yeah, I think he's already animated at this point. I think yeah. that's why he falls off. Yeah, that makes sense. And maybe maybe his wife was the other person that yeah. maybe interesting, was sick and though, she died. But interesting though that it, you know that had to have been a pretty quick turn. Yeah, yeah. We know yeah. that you can change quickly. It can take time. We don't know the exact science. We know somebody was working on it. Troy, who needs to come back, but he's not going to. Nope. He's dead. But, uh, yeah. So, this is in that grave that John was digging. There's a walker that ends up there that we kind of see him fight and kill really quick. Um, so, I don't know. I, it just seems weird that he's, wherever he is, he's outside the community because a walker Maybe can get someone's to him. making him dig his own grave. I don't think so. Well, that would be interesting, though. That would be dark. <laughs> and he escapes and now he's on the outside able to help the rest of the group yeah let's see so nothing big with this i'm just I, I i grabbed this still just because we're getting back into like it seems like car chases like in this realm of the walking dead car cars are still in existence they're still able to be used fuel is still be able to be used so that's yes. the key ladies and gentlemen yeah. fuel does not last forever right doesn't last years maybe it does i don't know well we no, we told that over time, yeah, I remember we did the video on this a while back, there were some people in the comments that said, yes, fuel will degrade over time and will mm -hmm. not be able to be used. But in I don't ten know the exact time frame. Yeah, in 10 years of the apocalypse, helicopters are still being but able again, to be used. But listen, <laughs> uh, they're, they're in a crude oil field. They're, in, they're, they're developing oil. They're, yes, they so are So this could be fuel. new fuel. Correct. Yeah, you are right. I forgot about that. Luciana is developing fuel. So we get to see Al's truck here, and they're coming upon a bunch of dead walkers. Who gets out? The Red Boots. <laughs> <laughs> the Red Boots. The Red Boots Ginny. Man, look at all those lug nuts on that tire. I know, dude. Imagine if you were, like, racing that thing. Jeez. <laughs> Change out the tires. <laughs> um, those but, good years? Heck yeah. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, it's a really quick shot, but as she starts walking towards the walkers... There seems to be something in front of it. It seems to be like maybe a box with a note or maybe a note. So I'm wondering that whoever maybe killed these walkers and laid them in the road is maybe somebody, could be these masked people who are trying to provoke Ginny or Man. start something up with Ginny. Blocking a road. Yeah. Who does that sound like? Again. Who knows that? <laughs> who knows? Oh, Dwight. Dwight. Ooh, Dwighty boy, yeah, Dwighty boy could do using that. Negan's tactics. Yeah, yeah, that could work. That could definitely work. Uh, stay tuned. We'll have another video. There was some cool information in regards to Dwight and Sherry's reunion. So stay tuned. We'll get another video on that for you guys. So another shot here again of the bounty hunter. Uh, this is kind of where he's talking with Ginny over the radio, and she's asking, you know, I want you to find Morgan Jones. Yep. So. It's a cool shot here. He uh, just got done killing Walter, that <laughs> one guy that he cut his head off. Put it in a nice picnic basket. Yeah, that's nice. You know, it's beautiful. You gotta put it. You gotta preserve the head. Yeah. You know, you gotta bring it back. So, and then um, another quick shot here of him again. And there's his uh, his death truck. <laughs> we got some rope, got gas, some gas, and some cages in the back. Some nice lighting, and then boom, the box from Morgan Jones. Eventually, but uh, yeah, that's it. And then the last shot was Morgan kind of waking up. We see his bloodshot eyes, and um, you know, I'm almost wondering yeah. if uh, Elite, because that room really sounds like that'd be his room, where Could Alicia's be. at. Yeah. Maybe he's just questioning Alicia. Maybe where's where's Morgan? Where would Morgan go? Could be. Could be him. Yeah, I think there's going to be. I think guys, I wouldn't say multiple villains, but we have we have Ginny, of course, and learning about the pioneers. We have this bounty hunter guy, whether he's just, he's a really part of the pioneers or just out on his own. And that's what people know him for is to find people. Then these masked people. Uh, we, we don't know if it might be eventually our group who might be them attacking Ginny or if it's a new group who in turn is kind of attacking Ginny as well. And then maybe our group gets introduced to them mm -hmm. and they kind of form maybe a, a little bond to work with each other. And I don't know. I just, there's so many things 
that can happen in this yeah, season. Yeah, I mean, are they even really attacking Ginny? Have we gotten solid proof of that no. either? So, Just, no, I mean, we don't, we don't even trailers. know. All we see is attacking. Like, yeah. we don't know who they're attacking. Right. Well, even um, well, even in uh, Al's truck, when we saw in the trailer that they're firing a truck, mm-hmm. we don't know who's in that truck. Yeah, we don't know. That's what I'm saying. We it's don't, like, know, if we don't know who's attacking and yeah. who's being attacked, and yeah. and you know that that leaves questions, right? But lots of questions. Yeah. You know, Al's story is probably going to be the most interesting to me. What happens with her? Yeah. You know, I and mean, we already know the rest. They're all they're all separated. They're all in a position that they don't want to be in. Yeah. Morgan's being hunted, but Al. Something's going on with Al. Yeah, the the flare is the big thing. We're hoping that maybe yes. she contacts, tries to contact Isabel. Uh, we we want to see that again because she is a link to CRM. Now I know the writers they they don't want to put a lot of CRM information. They've dipped around in our universe, but they want to really keep it to learn more from the world beyond. And then the Rick movie. So yeah, doesn't mean that they won't throw Easter eggs in there. Exactly. So if they throw something in, maybe with Isabel and. Maybe she gets on the radio, she shoots the flare, but doesn't end up coming. It's something to, yeah. for Al to know that Isabel's alive and vice versa. For Isabel to know, oh my God, I told you not to try to find me, but you did. I love you anyway. I sense that we <laughs> might get that early because if it doesn't Maybe. work, then it's just something that she tried and then goes back to her regular mission of, right. okay, I can't get the help I want. What else can I do? What's my backup plan? But that... That, that picture, though, with her being in that little makeshift hospital with that walker, yeah. it just, the look on her face, I think her story is really going to be about her searching. Mm-hmm. She's searching for the truth. That's who she is. That's that's her M.O. She yeah. likes to video record. She and, wants and she's, the truth. And she's got a story that she can't complete. Right. Now, I don't know about any of you, but like some people like Al simply can't let go of something when they when they can't get the answers right like they they have to keep going it's almost like a, an excessive compulsive disorder like i have to finish my work that's how she got caught by isabel in the first place yeah. because morgan knew like she lied to morgan and said oh i'm gonna check something out real quick i had to come back she said there's a story here yeah i had to come back she cannot let go of that that's yeah. who she is yeah but and which is great because it can drive the season depending on what she's looking for. Now, if it's really CRM, they're not going to go heavy into it. They just won't. But if it's maybe she's searching to find more about the truth of Ginny and the pioneers and what is Ginny really working on, that could be something. That could be something too, yes. That could be something. I just hope that we get no more camera. You know, I don't think they are. Sorry. I don't think I don't think they're gonna put I don't think they're gonna have the camera in her hand. We're done. Or the batteries yeah. are gone. We don't have any more battery juice. We're done. We're done with the camera. We're done with it. Yeah, guys. So we hope you enjoyed our breakdown. That's just a breakdown of the trailer we gave a little insights to, but definitely stay tuned. Uh before October, we're we're definitely gonna have more fear videos and theories coming out for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Help us get to our next milestone. We are almost to be getting to ten thousand 10, subs. Thousand. We tr- truly appreciate each and every one of you for coming to check us out. If you know somebody who enjoys our content, make sure you share the video, have them subscribe as well, and check back with us each and every day for anything. Knock Nation. Yeah. So, all right, guys. We'll see you next time. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're Knock Nation. We're out.